Hello and welcome, here's the next Unity tutorial about the free particle effects assets for Unity 5.5. You can download the assets from the Unity Asset Store, it's called Unity Particle Pack and it's for free. When you open this in Unity 5.5, there is a sample scene included which we are going to start right now and I will go through all the 22 effects and particle systems which are added to this project. Just watch and enjoy and when we are done with that we will take one particular prefab and do some fancy stuff with it. Okay, now let's have a look at the prefabs that come with that project, just to have an impression which assets you can use. For example, this one. This is a flamethrower. Just drag it into your scene and to have a preview, you select the flames. And look at this. That's a really great effect in my opinion. Awesome. I think we will use this one later on and script with that object. But let's continue. Here is a sandstorm. Oh, let's use this one, this electrical sparks effect. Really cool. Or oh, how about the waterfall? Amazing. Okay, but now let's script a little bit with these objects. And as I said, I want to use this flamethrower object and I will add a script to be able to drag around this object with the mouse. So what we need is a collider. I will use a box collider for this because the collider for the object is needed so that the methods on mouse down and mouse drag are called for the game object. Okay, here's the collider. Now let's scale this down. It's too big. In Y and X direction. Okay, and then we can edit the collider and move these faces here. Yeah, this should do. And then we will add a new C sharp script and call this drag game object for example. And then double click this and Visual Studio will be opened and we are ready to edit this script. This class here, we don't need the start and update method. We only need on mouse down and on mouse drag. So let's add these methods on mouse down. and on mouse drag. Okay, then I will need two member variables. A vector 3, which stores 
the current screen position of the mouse cursor and an offset. Okay, in the on mouse down, when I press the left mouse button on this object, I will store the position of this transform first. Then I store the screen position for the main camera, just because later in the drag method, I need to refer to the Z axis position of this object. And then I'm going to calculate the offset of this transform position to the current world position of the mouse cursor. For calculating the offset, I'm using camera main screen to world point. Because when we drag the object and want to apply the new position, we need world coordinates. But the mouse cursor comes in screen coordinates. And this is why we have to convert this here. Okay, now I have my screen pause and my offset. And when I drag this thing, this flamethrower, I again get the current screen point of my mouse cursor. Well, I think I can just copy and paste this one from the first method. Okay, and now I will calculate the new position for the transform when I drag this object, taking the offset into account. Again, I will use the screen to world point for the position of the cursor and then I will add the offset. Well, this should already work. I think that's all. Five lines of code. Now let's start this and drag the object. Yeah, the dragging works, but there's something wrong with this, with this flame here. Oh, I think the box collider overlaps this flame effect. So let me reduce the size or edit the box collider and bring this face a little bit in. Okay, and now start again and I think this should fix it. Yeah, that's it. A really nice effect. I like it. All right, my friends and Unity fans, I really hope you liked this video and my channel. And if you do, please feel free to subscribe, add comments and bring in new ideas. And it would be really awesome if you could support me on my Patreon. And who knows, someday I could work less on my regular job and invest more time for creating these tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and come back soon to JNM.